Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we're going to take a look at a new twist on an old classic, the Benjamin Marauder Field and Target in 22 caliber. All right, guys. Uh, quite frankly, I don't think I need to go over the Marauder in too much detail other than three significant points on the Field and Target Edition. Uh, one of those is actually on the regular Marauder as well. Um, there's Everything on this gun is basically standard with the exception of the fact that you have a Picatinny breech here. So uh, when you're choosing your mounts, obviously know that going in. I like that a lot because you could just take the scope off and put it back on very quickly without having to re-zero or do too much work. Uh, the second significant change here is the regulator, of course, that's going to be the big one. Um, and that's not found, obviously, in any of the other Marauders or anything like that. Um, don't know exactly where, what pressure it's set at, but I'm assuming we're going to find that out when we shoot over the chronograph. So we'll have to stay tuned for that. Uh, and last but not least is something that's been in place on the regular Marauders for about the last five or six months, and that's a new barrel design that Crossman's employed. And uh, the barrels that I've shot out of the regular Marauders in that time frame have done very, very well, and they're very consistent as well. Um, you know, one of the things back many, many years ago, uh, the Marauder 22 barrels were kind of questionable, and I'll be honest with you guys, I think those questions can be answered right here, right now. Uh, this new barrel design seems to be doing a lot better, so obviously we'll get it on the range and find out just how good it's doing, but I'm expecting very good accuracy results. Other than that, guys, the features are consistent. 3,000 PSI fill, uh, male quick disconnect fitting, shrouded barrel, so it's very quiet, bolt action, 10 rounds and 177 and 22, highly adjustable match trigger, uh, you have adjustable cheek piece, rubber butt pad, wood stock that's slightly redesigned, a little bit heavier, uh, going to be right about 10 and a half pounds or so as you see it here. But other than that, guys, let's just get out to the range and shoot because I know you guys want to see what this gun can do. So do I. Let's check it out. All right, guys, as I said in the studio, Crossman's got some new barrels. Now, these aren't the Lothar Walther barrels that they're going to be offering through the custom shop. This is a Crossman made barrel, but they're going about it a new way. So these barrels should be much, much better. And I think the accuracy showed that certainly. Uh, Predator GTOs right around one inch. That is actually an inch on the dot for this group. And that's 10 shots, you know, certainly hunting capable for those of you that want a non lead option. Uh, the Crossman Premier domes actually did pretty well, right about an inch too. Um, so certainly a hunting friendly pellet. The JSB 18s, pretty good, about three quarters of an inch, but definitely our best, the JSB 15.89s. Uh, 0.6 inches, 5 eighths of an inch. Guys, this is a dime right here. Um, you're not gonna get a whole heck of a lot better than that. And in a gun in this price point, to be able to put down a group like that, 45 yards, very good. From a 3000 PSI fill with the regulated Marauder field and target and those JSB 15.89s, you're looking at about 50 good shots down to 1500 PSI where we fell off of that regulator. Now with a standard deviation of 2.1 feet per second, this is obviously very, very consistent from shot to shot. And we're certainly getting more shots than we would have with a unregulated Marauder. A little bit of a downer in the energy department though, running at about 24 foot pounds on that 822 foot per second average. Uh, but you can crank it up. You have all the normal adjustments to the hammer spring and, and the transfer port that you would on a normal Marauder. So you can really tweak this gun to get exactly the performance you want 
but that regulator is certainly doing its job and very, very consistent performance out of this Marauder field and target. All right, guys, pretty good results out of the Marauder field and target here in 22 caliber. Uh, very quiet, obviously, triggers very clean break, and I know it can go a lot lighter than what it's set at now, so keep that in mind if the trigger's a big factor for you, but a very nice hunting trigger right out of the box. Uh, the magazines obviously work well, and a 10-shot group at 45 yards that's covered by a dime. Uh, very impressive accuracy out of these new barrels from Crossman. Uh, there's not a lot that this gun doesn't have in terms of features, especially for the price point. Uh, hitting on that regulator, uh, about 50 shots in this particular version. Now, here's one of the things that, that's going to vary from gun to gun. It's because of the features here within the gun to be able to adjust the hammer spring, be, being able to adjust the transfer port sizing and all that stuff that you can do with the Marauder platform, you're actually going to be able to tune this gun kind of how you want it in terms of if you want more power, less power, and more shots or you know more power and less shots there's a lot of things that you can play with this gun to get it set up just the way you want it so definitely keep that one in mind and it's a very easy platform to work with uh, tried and true through and through and made right here in the USA you can't really beat that in my opinion uh, the Marauder field and target two thumbs up for sure uh, and we're very excited to be able to offer it here at Pyramid Air so definitely check it out if you're cruising online looking for a brand new PCP in 2018. For The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys at the next one.